we've talked about changing colors of a design through the color palette, but we can also use the My Threads Docker to apply a specific color of a specific brand of thread. Click on the My Threads Docker in the corner to open the Docker. You can press Auto Hide if you wish to keep the Docker open. Remember, Auto Hide is the thumbtack in the title bar. The first icon in the My Thread Docker is your My Thread Charts. And when you click on this, it opens up a dialog box and you can choose your favorite brands of thread to work with. Isochord is the default chart used by the software. Anything on the right side of this dialog box will be displayed in the My Threads Docker. To send all the thread charts to the Docker, you would simply click on the double right arrow and all the thread brands will go to the right and they will all be displayed in your My Threads. If you only want specific charts sent over, and I'll send these all back by clicking on the double arrow and they'll all go back. If I want, say, Isochord plus Orophil, I can hold down the control key and let's also say choose Wonderfill. And I can send all these to the right side by clicking on the single arrow and the, the charts that I have selected will now be visible. The Manage will take you to a Manage Thread Charts dialog box, and we'll cover that in a later video. You just simply click OK to close the dialog box. Now, the next icon over is Show Thread Details, and when I click on that, it will list the code numbers, the name, as well as the chart, and I can sort by any one of these. The blank area that you see allows you to search for a specific name or code of thread. So I can click inside this box and type in, say, the word lipstick, and it will bring up the color of, in this case, it's an isochord thread. If I want to change something in the design to this color, I can hold down the Alt key and click on the object that I want to change, and then I'll just double click on that color, and it will assign that particular color of thread to that object. To bring all my colors back, I swipe across the lipstick and press delete, and that will bring all the colors back. And notice that all the red colors show because that is the last color that was indicated by my selection. If I want to search by code, I can also key in a code number and it will isolate to that particular code number. Again, to restore the entire chart, I swipe across the code and press delete and all the colors will come back. Now the last icon is called match and assign all and the closest match is going to be selected. And when I click on that, all the colors will be reassigned according to the closest match in the color chart. When you have the detail view indicated, which this is the detail view, I can quickly sort by color, by code, and by clicking it again, it will sort in the opposite order. I can also sort by color name. And again, clicking will sort in the opposite order. Or I could sort by chart. So I could look at all the Wonderfill together, or I could scroll down and see all the Isochord threads. This bar at the side will allow you to scroll through all the different colors. And if you see a color you like, all you would have to do is hold down the Alt key, select the color, and then double click on that color chip and the color will change in the design. Now, as I've done this, if I rest my cursor on these color chips, it will give me the name as well as the code number of the colors I changed that part of the design too.